Now, I don't have to be, well, let me say this. You don't need to be some sort of neurosurgeon or rocket scientist or, uh, or anything like that to sit here and, and analyze the fact that the world that we live in is one that a lot of young folk, older folk too, but I think it's something that is certainly prominent among the current uh, generation, right? A newer generation, my age and younger folks that are coming up where everybody's going out of their way to try to present, present themselves as being offended. And it's not enough for these types to sit here and just be offended. Um, so looking at something that's in, 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 like in disgust and not tuning into it, turning it off, that's not good enough for certainly with these guys. These guys um, once they get offended, they want to try to take something down. And generally, it's not even anything worth being offended at. Now, I get it. We're all human beings. We're all individuals. And, you know, there's certain things are going to rub certain folks the wrong way as opposed to others. I completely understand that. I want to make sure that I acknowledge that. But there are certain things um, that I only think is a gray area where you know that this person is reaching because of of what that comes with it's like you've given so much power to these advocates some of these guys are advocates of social justice but you've give, given these guys so much power because you've bent the knee and bent over <laughs> in a lot of cases for uh these types and today we're going to talk about yet another weird twitch streamer who I, i'm going to be fair to her i have no idea who she is this just popped up on my Timeline. Yo, CD Project Red. This is what she says. Name Sarah Sarah Daniels. I want to make sure that I'm not like sneak dissing. And she says, I'm sure you could have come up with better dialogue than get raped from an enemy. I get it. You're being edgy, but uh, geez, I'm actually disgusted. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a couple steps back here. Now, Cyberpunk has this share of issues. I've uh, covered it, uh, but more so pertaining to the technical issues and the things that they flat out lied about. One of the things I have not been bitching about is the vulgar content that comes from this game uh, because not only is there a little warning label that tells you that there's going to be that type of content in there, I'm not a fucking bitch. Keep in mind that these guys are enemies at the end of the day. We're talking about people that are the, the developer is trying to present them as the folks that are in opposition to you, right? Or are they are generally seen as bad. So let me get this straight, Sarah Daniels. Murder, fool, there's one little, I, I'm not going to sit up here and talk about the entire timeline, uh, for those, because I don't want to spoil it for, for some of you for the sake of this show. I will, though, in my review. There's even one instance where a fucking monk, right, uh, was uh, basically kidnapped. And and he had these implants on them. And obviously, that's not what the, the monks are, are about, even in 2077. Uh, getting those cybernetic implants and stuff. So all of that shit's on the, on the table, right? All of that shit. The enemy can say, go fuck yourself and all of this type of shit. Uh, obviously, I mean, there's all kinds of crazy stuff that they say, but they're trying to kill you and apparently get raped, murder, <laughs> that shit's fine, but get raped apparently is where you, you just draw the line and you're like, Oh, clutch, clutch pearls that this mature game where folks are getting their fucking face shot off. This enemy, this person that is supposed to be seen as a bad person said, Get raped. Clutch pearls all oh, faint. Faint on the fucking couch. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Someone tweeted uh to me that this is an 18 plus game, she says. Then blocked me immediately. Guess I'm scary. I'm 31. So you're older than me with this bullshit. Uh, uh, whereas the rating, we're going to use sexual trauma for shock value because we're creatively bankrupt. This fucking 
and again, like that element's built into the game because okay, it's like this sort of futuristic um, idea where a lot of folks are decentified uh, or, or like de. They're not sensitive. I'm not desensitive. Like they're not like that shit. Like these sort of concepts, obviously in the real world, would be a fucking problem, right? I don't know why I can't talk today. But the idea in the future, even with death, it's 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 one of those things that is not seen as dramatic. Um, as what it generally is. That's the whole world in general. I mean, it's a fucking video game. Not only that, I guess you can say that about every video game, but especially considering where we're at with it. And 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 this whole sexual trauma, it's like, I grew up banging, guys, right? And I lost, I lost homies that have been killed, right? I, got a, I, had, I had a homie by the name of Jar Money. Um, for those that are in Texas, you may know him as uh, Mr. Guaranteed to Rick. If you grew up in, in, in like Dallas, you know who that is. And, you know, it was a great friend of mine. Um, and he got killed by some punk bitch who shot him over fucking like uh, a bet, right? Over a bet, right? And and he and he was killed. And obviously those concepts exist within this game. Am I talking about psychological fucking trauma? Because of that, now look, I understand that there are things that folks have 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 gone through that that, that, that it may have been a traumatic experience. Rape is one of them, right? I, I I totally understand that, but to act like you're the only fucking one, and I'm not even saying this to diminish rape because that shit's fucked up, nonetheless. Uh, uh, and and um, if if that's the type of shit that you're on, where you go around doing that shit to women or fucking men, uh, you are a piece of dog shit. But the thing is, is that we all, not not all of us have gone through that traumatic of an experience, but we've all went through something, I'd imagine, unless you were just coddled your entire life, where that experience left a mark on you, and there are going to be d- bits that are going to remind you of it and stuff like that. But you got to pick your nutsack up, you know what I'm saying? And, and you have to move forward right you can't let that shit consume the entirety of your your life and again as a person that grew up banging as a person that lost a lot of fucking homies the fact that there's gangsters and shit uh uh you know on the game airing each other out and shit does not fucking make me fucking freak out so though i'm not trying to diminish this this idea of uh, of sexual trauma or anything like that that's not what i'm diminishing what i am saying is that believe it or not you ain't the only motherfucker that play video games that then went through a traumatic experience that there's some sort of element or aspect to that, that, uh, that is on the game. Right. In fact, that should be an anticipation. Uh, uh, definitely when you're talking open world games that have these different sort of narratives and, 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 and characters. And uh, obviously with you as a character can move around at your own sort of whatever way doing missions and shit that should be expected. Right. So to sit there and fucking try to hide behind the fact that, well, you know, you, 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 you're offended at this idea because they use the term raped. Like I said, believe it or not, people get shot, killed. Um, I mean, obviously people that got killed are living, but you know, stabbed all of these sort of concepts robbed that are all entertained, which definitely rob when you're dealing with robbery, people that have been part of a robbery, you know, that that's a, um, that's a, 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 a an experience that you that shit sucks right if you've ever been like robbed like that shit fucking sucks but i have not seen anybody of course being offended and if you are being offended at that idea because someone robbed you on the game or, or you you know you're being incentivized to rob someone else or they're being incentivized to ri- rob you like bro it's a fucking video game man and Believe it or not, people say fucked up shit, especially when they're trying to kill you. It's a fucking video game, man. Of course, here we go. God damn it. The incels found me death threats and bound because, of course, anybody that this white woman um, uh, that it seems to disagree with her is an incel. This is the problem with. I think a lot of folks in this generation where, and unfortunately she's a Twitch, I don't know, look, she probably has way more followers than me, y'all. 
Uh, oh, oh, actually, she doesn't. But of course, her her bio is fucking predictable with BLM in the fucking bio. Um, it's like you go through shit. Everybody goes through shit, and if you are letting allowing that con- to consume you, I don't know. You need to see a therapist and don't play the fucking game. Psychologist, I don't know somebody, but I don't know. It's a game that. It's set in this this um, this world where there's a lot of violence and all sorts of things. You mean to tell me that you, the the part that where you lose your mind to think that well they could have come up with some other dialogue from a fucking enemy is get raped again? I guess the other shits on the table when they tell you, hey, I'm going to kill you, or you're a piece of shit, or oh, what all the other vulgar things that I can't even think of off the top of my head that of course are being stated in this game as you go from enemy to enemy. Like, what do you think? They're not going to say fucked up shit. They're fucking trying to kill you, loser. People are weird, but it's par for the course when it comes to the direction that a lot of uh, uh, people that are on, uh, definitely these, oh man, Twitch fucking streamers, man. These guys fucking are fucking like, they think they lead the charge on just being, being representative of every single fucking community and kumbaya and all kinds of shit. Like, could you imagine, I mean, and I can't even say that, could you imagine? Because the chick is 31, so she's older than I am. And I would imagine that she's grown up with Grand Theft Auto. Could you imagine, I guess, though, now we live in this uh, uber-offended age, uh, but she's still around my age. Like, I'm 30, she's 30 fucking one. Like, so we're basically the same age. When I say she's older, I mean, she's older than me, and, like, she's not that much older than me, but she is older than me, nonetheless. But that's what I'm talking about. We're talking about my age and older, or around my age group, um, and, and, and excuse me, younger, about these weirdos trying to go out of their way to be offended um, and think that they owe someone else a fucking lecture uh, company for for daring to offend them because they put some in a game or something that they thought was uh uh it, it, it was I don't know they were they were it's too too edgy again the murder and shit's all fine and uh, implanting monks against their will uh cybernetic fucking enhancements and shit apparently that's all on the table but god forbid someone that actually wants is an actual enemy says get raped uh, it's unbelievable um uh, definitely when you consider of all the damn things to be bitching about with this game considering the the <laughs> i've documented it on this channel i don't know how many times the amounts of different problems from this game the fact that that's what this heifer is bitching about is amazing. It's absolutely amazing to me, but it's not surprising. Um, it's just these guys try to outdo themselves and and um, look, man. You if you're going out of ba- way, going out of your way to be offended, you're a fucking loser. And please do not be that that person that's um, that's trying to. It's almost like blackmail, right? You know what I'm saying? Where you hide behind your gender your race or something like that and then get offended on behalf of everybody else that's experienced that or, or, or live like has the same color, same gender or went through whatever trauma that you're saying. And then you kind of try to position yourself to leverage and that is using that as leverage against a company because they had some content that you didn't fucking like. Um, uh, but again, it'd be one thing if you universalize the position, but you don't. It's it, because that's the one thing you mentioned. And if you played this game, there's a lot of fucked up shit in this game, but that should be expected. There's a lot of fucked up shit in Witcher. Um, you know what I'm saying? Which ain't as vulgar, but you know, you get what I'm saying is these are video games that are meant for a mature audience. Of course, there's going to be some fucked up shit being said and done. It's, and it's, it should be anticipated. I don't, I don't know what these guys are going to do when a new Grand Theft Auto, if a new Grand Theft Auto, which we probably are fucking half a decade from, from that being a thing, uh, because I think they're all in on GTA online. But can you fucking imagine the amounts of, um, like, brain aneurysms that are going to happen? if a new Grand Theft Auto comes out in this particular climate, social and political climate, I don't know if they're going to make it. I just don't know if they're going to make it. And it's actually disappointing that the chick that we just talked about is my age or around my age when you consider the fact that, come on, bro, you grew up 
in the era of South Park and, and, and all of that, and, and you mean to tell me that this video game saying get raped, a comment of get raped is what did it for you. That That's what did it. That's what did it for you. Fucking pussies, man.